what God expects from you. There's dreams and trances. There, there's a whole cacophony of stuff in the Father's house. There's so many things for us. We can't get around here and say, I don't know what God wants. That's the voice of a lazy person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. If you press into God, yes. now you can tell me that Hebrews 11 and 6 is off. Mm -hmm. Huh? You gonna tell me that he's not a rewarder them that diligently seek him? He, I thank God he put diligently in there. Not just seek him. A people that seek him even when they don't get the answer. That's a diligent person. A person that will seek him even when he don't understand it. Even when it seems like uh, Japanese or some other type of language. You gotta diligently seek him. He said, I'm a rewarder who will go the extra mile. Who will get up and say, you know what, I'm going to get up early and I'm going to seek him early. Because yeah. the Bible says in Proverbs 8, if I seek him early, I'm going to find him. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So I can speak plainly. Yeah. So I can communicate what I'm seeing. We have to ask God, God, why I can't hear it? Why I can't see it? Why I can't declare it? We don't have clay lips. He said the tongue of the righteous is a situation silver. Yes. We got redemption in our lips. Amen. We got Zechariah. Yeah. Our tongue is not fastened to our mouth. Right. No. To the roof of our mouth. We know, we, you know what I'm saying? We know our season. Yes. He wanted to name him after him. Mm -hmm. God had a name called John. If we know our season, our, our tongue won't be shut up. Yes. Oh, boy, that'll preach. Yeah. God want us to be able to say, man, why is it? Because we're supposed to be a people that not only is in the shelter or a hiding place from the wind. You get what I'm saying? Or a covert, a shelter from the tempest. Not only do we have river of waters in a dry land, not only are we a shadow of a great rock in a weary land because people are being weighed out and vexed out, but now we can See, we can hear, it's gone into our hearts, we can process the things of the kingdom, and now not only that, we can speak plainly. Yes. So when people start asking you of what's coming on the earth, you can tell them, no, it's not the end, it's only the beginning. Yes. That's the groaning and travail of the sons of God. Amen. And then you can take them and say, without what conviction they say. You ain't got to tell them where the scripture is, but you can give them enough to work with. They can say, man, let me, I'm going to go search that thing out. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 This is what the Isaiah 32 is yeah. about. Yeah. Transforming the people. Yeah. That they be able to operate in the earth. Mm -hmm. We've been baptized with the Spirit. We've liquidated and made it just tongues. Mm -hmm. Come on, y'all know we have. Yeah. 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 Not did they be sat out. Pentecost realm. Yeah. Pentecostal churches, charismatic churches. Mm -hmm. If he ain't tongues, he's gifts. Yes, that's true. That's so they raised the raised the ante on. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's so much bigger than your tongues. Yeah, yeah, he's so much yeah, bigger yeah. than your gifts. Yeah, yeah. He wants to re-educate you. He wants to retrain you. He wants to renew you. He wants to refresh you. He wants to give you a new start. He wants to erase everything that you couldn't do in your own strength. Yeah, Amen. Yeah, yeah. He said, "Not by might nor by power, but of my spirit." He wants to do it by his spirit. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Yes. You gotta let it yourself, yeah. let him work on the inside yes. of you to will and to do of his good yes, pleasure. Father, we bless you tonight. Yes, we thank Lord. you for the word. Yes.